So this is the problem from the back of the quiz on section 2.8, and it was a question that I asked you to find all horizontal and vertical tangents for the graph of this relation. So this is an implicit relation, and we need to do two things. We need to find where we have horizontal and also vertical tangents. Now if you're looking for slopes of tangent lines, you're going to need a derivative. So really the first order of business is to take the derivative of this implicitly. And I'm going to take the derivative of x squared and get 2x. I'm going to subtract the derivative of 2x and get minus 2. The derivative of y squared requires a quick chain rule, because remember y is a function of x. So we have an outer function, something squared. The derivative of something squared would be 2 something to the first. Inner function stays as the base. And then we finish the chain rule by multiplying by the derivative of the inner function. And then the derivative of 15 would be 0. We're looking to solve this for dy dx, so we would move this to the right side of the equal sign, move this to the right side of the equal sign, and we'd be left with 2y dy dx equals negative 2x plus 2. And then dy dx is going to end up being negative 2x plus 2 all over 2y. Right? Divide each side by 2y to isolate the dy dx. You can simplify this a little bit if you want to. Like you can factor a 2 out from the top, 2 from the bottom, and, and cancel your 2's. You can leave it like this. Both will get you to the proper end result as long as you're careful. I'm just going to leave it in this form. I want to focus on my horizontal tangent lines first. And I know if I have a horizontal line, the slope of that line is 0. So if my tangent line's slope is 0, the value of this derivative is 0. And a fraction can only ever be zero if the top is zero while the numerator is non-zero. Excuse me, I, that was incorrect. Well, if the top is zero while the denominator, while the bottom, is non-zero. So I want to figure out when my numerator is zero to find where I have horizontal tangents. So I'm just going to take the numerator of that derivative we just computed, which was negative 2x plus 2. I'm going to set that equal to zero to figure out when my derivative is zero. And this is pretty simple to solve because you're just subtracting two from each side. So you have negative two x equals negative two. And then divide each side by neg negative two and you get x equals positive one. This tells us that our derivative will be zero anytime x is equal to one. What we don't know is where on this curve x is equal to 1. So now we have to figure out where on the curve does x equal 1. And this isn't something that's very difficult to do, but it is something that's necessary to do. So I need to take 1 and put it in place of the x's in the equation of the curve, and I need to try to figure out what value of y would satisfy that equation. So I'm going to put 1 in place of in the first x, it gets squared, 1 in place of the second x, which is getting multiplied by 2, plus y squared, equals 15. If you're thinking about solving this, uh, that's a 1, that's a minus 2. If you add the 2 over to the 15, you get 17. If you subtract the 1 from the 17, you get 16. So you have y squared equals 16. If you take the square root of each side, Square root of 16 is 4. Few people forgot that when you take the square root of each side to solve for an unknown, you've got to consider two possibilities, the positive case and the negative case. So this curve has two places where it has horizontal tangents, where x is 1 and y is 4, and where x is 1 and y is negative 4. So we have a horizontal tangent at 1, 4, and a horizontal tangent at 1, negative 4. We'll finish the vertical the same way. We just deal with the denominator, and I'll have to do that in a couple minutes in another video.